The best DSLRs can go head to head with the mirrorless cameras for features and add chunky handling and optical viewfinders. The best DSLR competes surprisingly well with the latest mirrorless cameras. While it is true that mirrorless cameras are grabbing all the attention these days. Many photographers still like the size, grippability and optical viewfinders and the battery life of the digital SLRs. So if you are looking for the best DSLR, this video will help you out in choosing the best one. In this video, I am going to show you top 5 best DSLRs that you can consider to buy. So do watch the video till the end and do let me know in the comment section which DSLR did you like the most. Don't forget to hit that like button, do share this video among your friends and subscribe my channel. Nikon D7500, a great all-rounder for those who shoot a bit of everything. If you find yourself lusting after a T500 but don't quite have the funds available, consider instead the D7500. It shares many of the same specification as its older brother, including the same sensor and processor combination but with a few compromises to help keep the price lower. A chunky and nicely textured body makes the D7500 a nice camera to hold and use with some modern touches like a fully articulating touchscreen to satisfy those you who are used to smartphones and the like. The trade-off for the lower price includes an auto-focusing system that is not quite on par with the D500 but still very good. You also don't get the opportunity to shoot quite as fast with the 8 FPS available but it is still very usable for those who don't shoot action every day. Consider this camera for its great sensor and processor combination, lots of traditional controls and, and tilting touch sensitive screen. The disappointments are, single SD card slot provided and the connectivity can be unreliable at times. Links are given in the description for various countries, you can check the price and availability in your country and buy it from there. Canon EOS 90D It's an enthusiast DSLR with everything including 32.5 megapixels. This is the best Canon camera for enthusiasts but it is arrived with a groundbreaking specification that no other camera in this category can match and could leave a few professional photographers and videographers taking a look too. The EOS 90D packs in an amazing 32.5 million pixels, the highest yet for an APS-C camera. Though, don't expect to see any obvious and instant benefit in image quality. Instead, instead revel in this camera's 10 FPS continuous shooting capability and its uncropped 4K video capture. A consumer level Canon that doesn't reduce angle of view for 4K video. The extra megapixel don't dent the EOS 90D's high ISO low light performance but this camera has so many capabilities and so much potential. We think it is a dazzling good all-rounder for enthusiasts who want to try every facet of photography. Consider this camera for its highest APS-C resolution yet, 10 FPS continuous shooting un and uncropped 4K video. The disappointment is the limited buffer capacity. Nikon D850 in camera terms, the D850 might be getting on a bit, but it features a host of fantastic specification available at a better price than ever. It is a superb all-rounder which is well suited for professionals and advanced enthusiasts who want to photograph lots of different types of subjects. Advanced enthusiasts will also get a kick out of how well it handles a variety of different subjects. With a high resolution 45.4 megapixel sensor, 4K video capture, a 3.2 inch tilt in touch screen and a 153.99 cross type autofocus system that pretty much just nails it every time. And it also comes with a very sturdy body. You are likely to be disappointed with what the 850 can deliver. Consider this camera for its superb autofocus, great handling, fantastic battery life and the disappointment here is the snap bridge that is a Bluetooth connectivity doesn't work always. Canon EOS Rebel SL3 EOS 250D This small but feature packed DSLR even shows 4K. Canon does make a couple of cheaper DSLR than this one but we reckon they are a little cut down in features and build quality and we would recommend paying just a little bit extra for the EOS Rebel SL SL3 DSLR. But why? Because it has a very angled touch screen on the back and a sensor with the Canon's dual pixel CMOS autofocus technology so the autofocus in live view is really snappy. We also love the fact that 
you can start from a simple guided user interface when you are still learning and then switch to the standard setup when you feel more confident and want more control. This is the best DSLR for beginners keen to learn and experiment with the new techniques. It is also as good in live view mode as the mirrorless camera. Consider this camera for the guided screen option, pivoting touchscreen and the 4K video capability. The disappointing thing here is the body might be too small for some. Nikon D3500 overall the best DSLR camera and best for beginners also. The Nikon D3500 was launched back in 2018 as an evolution of the Nikon's best selling line of the starter DSLR cameras. We also rate it as one of the best Nikon cameras right now as well as one of the best cameras for beginners. No wise photographers are often worried about DSLRs being complicated to use but the Nikon 3500 has a brilliant guide shooting mode that acts as a fully interactive tutorial on the photography. And it is delivered via the rear LCD screen. The rear screen is fixed and you are limited to the full HD video rather than 4K but the 24 megapixel sensor delivers superb sharp images and retracting 18 to 55 mm kit lens is rather good too. The D3500 is small, light and cheap and easy to use, all the qualities that will appeal to beginners. It might seem as if the camera technology is advancing at breakneck speed right now but the D3500 has all the qualities we still look for in a beginner camera and, and we still haven't seen anything to touch it at this price. Consider this camera for its interactive guide shooting mode, solid performance, great handling and amazing value for money package. The disappointing thing is, fairly basic control and LCD has no tilt or touch screen. So these are the top 5 best DSLRs that you can consider to buy. If I had left any of the best DSLR in this video, please comment in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.